What's going on YouTube? It's your boy working on the 74 Blazer uh, LS Swap 5.3. Um, you know, jumped on, you know, jumped on the end. A lot of the guys, uh, you know, had shown the videos on the bulkhead fitting. So this is the 73 Blazer. What I did, I upgraded the the fuse box to the new style. This is from um, I think uh, 87, I grabbed it from, and the tilt steering column and all of that stuff. So look, let me, don't waste time with a lot of stuff. This is how I did my LS swap, and this is a standalone wiring harness that you can pick up wherever, Amazon, eBay, wherever, wherever you get your standalone wiring harness, okay? So, without further ado, let me get down on powering this thing up, and I'm gonna show you guys what you need to do or what I did. Let me let me rephrase that. What I did. Okay, so look. So first and foremost, you got battery power, okay? So the battery power, constant 12 volt here. This is going to, if you look at the bulkhead, right? Because I'm gonna tuck everything under the dash. This is your power wire here. This is that big red wire, okay? It's big red. That goes to the constant power, okay? The second red, which is the fourth wire down here, it is connected to this also, um, to the power. Because what I found when I had hooked it up, these two wires together, and this wasn't connected, I wasn't getting uh, powered up to uh, the constant power here that goes back this constant power here, if, you, if, if, if I show it to you, it goes back into the fuse box, okay? So that goes back into the fuel, fuse box. Also, this is the signal wire here going into uh, the fuse box also. So look, I've got my ground set up, okay? So basically, this is key off. I'm gonna take this off real quick, okay? I'm just gonna show you guys real quick. I just got it like this until I get everything under the dash. So this is constant power. Key off, right there, simple, very simple. Key off, okay? So now, let's go here. This wire goes back in to the standalone uh, fuse box. So now I'm gonna go key on. That's one more. That's key on. This wire needs to be connected to this pinkish wire on the bulkhead here. So that goes to the PCM, the small signal wire that goes on there. So you need to have constant power here, key on, and also crank. So look, it stays on, look. That's it, I got my wires and stuff off because I'm still working on the engine, but that's what it needs to be. Right? So that's what you need to power this up, okay? The second, this wire here, this purple wire, this goes to, this purple wire from the bulkhead goes to the starter on the very small signal, um, that signal uh, nut there on the starter, that small wire, okay? The two big wires I hooked up to the starter goes back to the power, and that's on the standalone harness, right? That goes back to the power that way, all right? So these two, constant, this is constant power. I tie those in. This goes to the signal on the starter, okay? This goes into, this is key on and start position. Okay, from there, that goes back into the fuse box. From the fuse box, you got a, another wire here. This wire that comes out of the fuse box from uh, the junction here, this goes to the fuel pump. All right, so this, this I'm running a Corvette fuel pump on this here, and this is what it does. So this goes back, sends a signal from here to, so if, if, if I turn the key on, you can listen to the pump. 
and then it, it, sig it sends a signal, and then it sends a cycle to come on, it primes, and then shuts off. So, and, and again, once you do it that way, let me double check my uh, wiring harness, and I'll show you guys something. Because I've been messing around with, uh, I've been messing around with the cords and stuff. And, uh, so I might have to switch this cord wire up here, that's red. And that's green. Okay, that's in, that's in. And I think I got fuel. because I got one of those covers and uh, yeah I got it all backwards I think it's, I got it backwards so red green that's blue yeah okay should fire up now what's going on here There's always one, isn't it? Come on, get your butt in there. What's going on here? Okay. So that's it. Pretty much that's what it is with the standalone. Um, if you mix these up when you're putting them on, uh, it's not gonna fire up, okay? So make sure, well, it, 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 it will try to fire up, and uh, as you've seen from me trying to fire it up, it doesn't, but once you've got all the wiring all set up with all the grounds, make sure, ensure that you got all the grounds. The back of the block, all that, I put on extra grounds, because you know, with these LSs, man, they're kind of finicky. So I put on, I like using these grounds, these straps, so that's what it, what, what you need to do. Um, I'm like, again, I've got the, the covers that cover all of this. So that's it. Look, she fires up every time once you get it done. <laughs> well, you guys stay tuned and thanks for watching. If you got any questions or comments, please feel free. Hit that like button. And uh, keep building, man. That's what we do. We love what we do.